So if you're anything like me, you would have killed an important NPC that you would later on figure out was friendly and part of a quest line which could have potentially given you some really useful gear. And I'm going to show you how to undo this NPC mistake with an item called Celestial Dew and where to find it as well as where to use it to undo all of your mistakes and be forgiven for all of your sins. All of this footage is taken from my Twitch streams over at twitch.tv slash septicfalcon where I stream most days and Elden Ring is the main game I'm playing right now. I am totally addicted. So go over there, give a follow for the next time I'm live if you can catch me live. Subscribe here on YouTube and hit that like button as it really does help the channel out a lot and means a lot to me. Without further ado, let's get on with the video. Um, I need to figure out how to get in there though, where that giant is. Oh, I could just skip him. Get in there! I didn't realize I could skip him. I thought I had to maybe kill him to get this door open. Okay, we're good. See ya, sucker! And then we get a grace. Yeah, I'm not looking forward to this bit, but let's go. Shit, I can't remember which way you went. Oh, down here. This is it. This is it. I could probably kill those easy, but creepy crawlies. Grace should be just here. By the way, look at that statue in that. Look at that. I'm trying to pull the lever, you idiot. Oh, it's up. Okay. I'll take it back. You know, we got to stealth it past these. Okay, I've aggroed the whole, whole lot. Should be a trader in here. Someone there, a customer. Well, um, okay, so enough. K, I might be able to do that if I open up all my runes actually. So I'm down in the underground area of the map. And I've just got to the Celestial Dew. It weren't actually too bad. I expect it to be worse. But I need to buy that. 
and then go to the Church of Hours to undeath any NPCs that I have killed because they're very important. Um, which uh, somebody told me they were I shouldn't have killed so certain NPCs. Don't know who it was. Uh, but yeah, now I'm reaping those mistakes. Now we need to see if I've got enough uh, of these, which I should have, right? That should be enough there to get me to seven and a half K. There we go. That's enough. Yeah, girl, just enough. Okay. Um, but now I need to get to the church here. So let's go back there. Now I've got all of the uh, races around there to fast travel. So I can fast travel all around down there now. And now I need to get to this church. To do a rewind on my mistakes. It should reset any NPC um, mistakes you've made. So, But it's a very hard, long process. But luckily, we didn't do too bad. And then we've just got to speak to this statue thing here. And offer it... Celestial to do to receive absolution and resolve any issues we had with NPCs. Because I killed them all. Your sins are absolved. And now, if we go back to the sorcerer lady in the dungeon that we killed. Oh, a sewing needle. Golden tailoring tools. Oh, boy. Okay. Oh, it's a giant turtle. <gasps> Pope turtle. Uh, there she be. She be here, I think. I think this is the right place. Let's go and have a look. Find the sorcerer cellar or whatever her name is. Yay, she's back. I fixed it. Tarnished, are we? No wonder you should turn up here. I am Selen, her sorcerer, quite plainly. Why are you here? 